Hey guys, Christopher from All here in another episode of Mario Maker 4. And today I'm going to show you how to add some custom recipes. Okay? So that's including mountain recipes, uh, shaped recipes, and also straight up recipes. Okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to create a new class inside of the main registry called Crafting Manager. So you can. Okay? Because I don't think it deserves its own package, so it's just going to stay there. Not scum, it's just stay where you are. Okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to go public. Static void main registry. Okay. Um, let's bring this down a bit. Then we're going to go public static void add crafting recipes. And then I'll just copy and paste that and change crafting to smelting. So, okay. So obviously we need to actually uh, register these two methods inside of here. Like so. And then we need to go to our main registry and also register this in here. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go crafting manager dot and crafting recipes. Uh, a dot main registry, sorry. Okay, make sure it's below item and block or entity if you want to use that as well. I don't see why you'd need an entity inside of a crafting recipe. I don't even think it's possible as far as I'm aware. But um, yeah, make sure it's below because we're going to be calling upon item and block. So if they're not already read, if they're not already not initialized, then we won't be able to call upon them because it will just crash the game. So make sure you've already called upon item and block before you call upon your crafting manager. Okay. So we're going to start off with a um, shaped recipe, like so. And what we're going to do, we're going to game registry dot add recipe. Uh, it's the second one. Oh, dot add recipe. We're not going to do add shape recipe because, well, it's basically the same thing. Look, shape recipe. Say if you only like had like, it's like you want it on the top row or something like that, but. It could just go anywhere on the crafting table there because it just works out better. I've got a fly in my hand. Okay. But anyway, yeah. So we're going to go game registry dot add recipe. So we're not going to do the add state recipe. So make sure it's this one with the item set output and the object params. What we're, oh, we're going to do inside here for our output, we're going to go new item stack brackets. Then the thing goes to our output, so we can have it now locks. Dot diamond look in fact you know we'll do our pickaxe so I'm gonna go tm item dot tut uh, tut pickaxe we'll have okay we'll do it we'll call upon our tut pickaxe and then comma and that's the amount you want it to produce so we'll call upon our tut pickaxe and we'll have it create one the parameters we're gonna go new object like so uh, it's gonna be an object array so obviously when we have an array we have to have these curly brackets because um, we're trying to call upon multiple values. Then what we need to do is we need to have some double quotations and this is basically your crafting table. So there's going to be three sets of these. So just imagine these as the actual crafting table itself. So this is your top row, middle row and bottom row. You only, you'd, you'd, you'd only have to use one if you're only using one row. Only use two if you're only going to use up two of those rows and three if you're going to use four or three. Okay. So we're going to have something that goes, I don't know, like that. Like that with a space in the middle. So I know we're making a pickaxe, aren't we? Sorry. So we'll have it all hash. Okay, and then we're going to have space because there's nothing there. So we don't place anything there. Or you could actually place a value there, which we won't define. So like, I don't know, R or Y. But you could just do space. And then I'm going to go S for stick and then space. And then space s space okay and then you go comma again and this time we're going to use single quotation okay to define them so they're different okay so we're going to call upon the hash okay so basically what we're doing here is saying this is going to look for now if we go comma again and then type in what we want to see so we'll set aside now to tm item dot tut item okay so what this is going to do 
is we've actually defined this this sharp single uh, sim, single or symbol or number symbol whatever you want to call it to be equal to our test item okay so like that so that is pretty much it so basically any hashes inside before this is going to be defined as plus item okay then we're going to comma again now we've defined stick okay so we'll just go items dot stick like so control shift o just to import item stack and that is it guys believe it or not you've just created your first recipe it's a shape recipe and yeah okay now let's go on to shape list okay so we're in your game registry the only reason i've output is one here is because you can't output multiple pickaxes because it can only stack up to one but you can have more so you can have, have like a stack of them that are output when you use it so we're in your game registry dot add shape list recipe new item stack dot not dot brackets then we'll go um, and then I'll have output items dot coal okay and then the parameters of this we can have anything so we can just go new object object array sorry and then we can go t y space So we could have it's T um, sharp and an S, okay. And we can set these equal to I don't know T can be the then sharp can be blocks dot cobble co uh, cobblestone comma and then the last one which is s can be blocks dot sand okay so i'm just going to sand like that and then add that comma because we've got it yeah and that's how you have the shape so basically if we place the cobblestone and sand anywhere inside the crafting table it doesn't even have to be next to each other they will create a piece of coal mm -hmm. okay now I'll show you how to add a smelting recipe. It's virtually the same. So we'll go game registry dot add smelting. So you need to choose between an item and a block, which one are you going to use? So the input we could set to um, whatever we want. So we could have a I don't know. We'll use our tot item. So we've got TM item. I know it says to use a block, but we could use an, an item as well because it's, it's still going to call upon the right one to item so that's going to go in and for the output we're going to go new item stack and we could blocks dot i don't know diamond diamond block come out and then comma items stack item stack and then we can have i don't know five diamond blocks come out every time overpowered i know but still the next we could have come out is I don't know. Well, twenty. Uh, we'll have twenty point O F because it's a float. Come out. Okay, I'm also going to make this into have ten coal come out, just to prove a point that we can have anything come out of this. I'm also going to have this. Set as, uh, I'll keep it as a copycat. Okay. So I guess that's just it. However, I'm going to change this to my TM item. Oops. I'm going to change this to my TM item. Dot. Tot item. Like so. Okay, so that is it, guys. That's all you need to do. I'm also going to just going to go down and go. Shape. List. Recipe. So, okay. So now if we actually run the game. If we run it. We get an error, <laughs> which is always fun. Why did we go wrong? Why did we go wrong? It's not like in Crafting Manager 14. It's not like it's inside the Crafting Manager recipe. Craft 
Mountain, 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 this is a good example, like when the code goes wrong, so this so you have to actually debug it. And we we'll probably call it the wrong thing considering they're both the same. So it's error on line 14. It's not like something to do with our shape, which by messed up by the looks of it. Um, 23. Okay, what type of error is it? It's invalid shape plus recipe, okay. Let's have a look what was wrong with it, okay? So if we actually go into here, so we've got our items like output, then that, and what's up with it? If we go to the question manager, I'll put a rest of shape of recipe. Oh, okay. I've gone wrong, I've done it the old way. So if you actually get rid of this, get rid of that bit there. All we need to do, all we actually need to define here is actually what we want in it. So we have our TM item, not our TM item. We have blocks dot dirt, and also blocks dot cobblestone. Okay, basically all we need to do in here, we don't even need to add these. I'm pretty sure we used to have to add them. I'm not too sure, but apparently not anymore. Okay, now let's run it, and we should have no crash. So if we go to big screen, click the world. Let it load up, obviously. It's not the brightest on this. There we are. Okay. And now let's open this. We'll get some cobblestone out. And we'll get some dirt out. This is a <laughs> and you see that if we actually add <laughs> we will get our tutorial item. Ten of them, like you said. Place them anywhere, so we can next week here. So we can just pull it out. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. We can get a crafting table, okay. So if we pull that, we can see if we can actually place do the same in here. <laughs> there, 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 and there. Let me see if we can pull as many of those out as we want. And we get a stick. As well. And we go. Not just a stick, but multiple sticks. And we create the pickaxe shape with our little toy at the top. Bye.